These are a set of front seat covers for the Triumph TR3A and TR3B models. They're also applicable for some of the TR4 models. So the very early TR4s left the production line with TR3A seat frames and seat covers in them. So for any TR4s like that, this is also applicable. These have been done in Leatherface, which was one of the original factory options, uh, meaning that the facings of the seats, the bit that contact your body when you're sat in them are leather, but the retainers and the surrounds and the backs are vinyl. They've been done in Matador Red with white piping, which again is an original colour specification for Triumph. And for the leather elements, we have used grained leather. We can also offer smooth leather for the majority of colours. Check our website for availability, as well as prices as they do change. So, the kit consists of pre-cut bits of material here for the um, framework base surrounds, basically. So you glue this to the metalwork of the frame surround. Now you'll see you get two big bits and one short bit. Uh, that is to allow for the one fixed seat and the one tilting seat. Obviously the tilting seat needs an extra piece of material, hence that extra piece there. If you happen to have two tilting seats, then just let us know and we can supply you with an extra piece at no extra cost, not a problem at all. Um, as I mentioned, this is leather faced. When leather faced um, uh, material option is used, then these bits here are in vinyl. We can also offer at the sort of more budget end, everything in vinyl where all the seats will be vinyl. Then leather face, which is middle ground option here. And uh, also at the more premium bespoke end of things, we can offer full leather where everything is leather with no vinyl, including these bits here. For that option, these would be skived down on our own house skiving machine to allow you to fit them nicely to the framework. So just bear that in mind. It's just the extra bits that we offer as standard um, to allow for the best finishes. So you also get a pair of cushion bases. Put your bum goes on. Horizontal pleats as per original spec for the TR3As. The piping across the middle here was always the same color as the main trim. Um, and then the outside piping was originally white. We can contrast piping both inside and out. Generally speaking, we recommend only contrasting the outer piping if you are going to contrast it. And bear in mind, there are surcharges applicable for non-original color schemes like that. So just bear that in mind. Genuine tuck and roll pleats, although you can't actually see them because of the way this one is pleated and sewn onto one piece of foam. And for leather faced, Pleated panel, side bolsters here and front bolster here is leather. And then the surround there is vinyl, as is the retainer there. Obviously you'll want to be considering um, our spring units and our seat foam kit and tacking strips uh, for those elements, although the tacking strips are purely for the backrest. See our website for details. Now the backrest, again, leather facings, pleated panel here and the side bolsters and top bolster. Then the retainers here, the finishes on the back there, well, side sort of area. This top surround is vinyl, as is the back there. So it's also worth noting on the TR3As, they were stitched into a millboard, which helped create a curvature when it's trimmed to the framework uh, area of that. So just bear that in mind. Uh, we also offer the top stitching detail there. And like I say, you've got the contrasting piping going around in two layers round there. So that is a set of the seat covers for the Triumph TR3A, TR3B, and some of the TR4 models. We can offer, as mentioned, in a variety of material options, vinyl, leather faced, and full leather. Bear in mind on your heritage certificate, when it says leather, it normally meant leather faced, which is this spec here. And that goes hand in hand with the panels that would have been the seven piece leather where you would have had the dash top scuttle capping in leather, the door tops in leather, the quarter elbow cappings in leather and the door pulls in leather. So just bear that in mind, they normally went hand in hand. But see our website and our handbook for more details.